And in fact, the Infosys CEO Vishal Sikka arrived in style to address the media at the company's Bengaluru headquarters. He took a ride on a driverless vehicle built by Infosys engineers to brief the media about the IT major's first quarter earnings. Infosys campus does aim to be a place of innovation. And there's something new today on the day of the quarterly results. Vishal Sikka, head of the company, is arriving in a golf cart, nothing new. Golf carts are actually quite common here in an Infosys campus. But this golf cart has something special about it. Or rather something which is not there, which you would normally see. There is no driver in the cart. It is in fact an automatic, automatically driven cart. There is no driver and Vishal Sikha coming in this cart without a driver. So he's heading actually for the quarterly results and this golf cart, which is the way people move around the campus, it's a huge campus, but this cart does not have a driver and Vishal Sikha is traveling there in that cart, which is making its own way, its own way towards the venue. I can see the steering wheel turning, although there's nobody turning it. Kind of spooky, kind of interesting in a way. Interested employees of Infosys walking alongside the cart as it comes slowly and safely to the destination. A driverless golf cart with Vishal Sikha in it. As other Infosians walk alongside, taking the opportunity to meet the boss of the company as he arrives at the venue in a somewhat different way, a cart with no driver. This is quarterly results with us CEO Vishal Sikha and you did arrive at the results in a rather unusual fashion today. <laughs> Driverless? Autonomous? <laughs> yes, uh, it's uh, our indigenously built autonomous golf cart. Uh, we are very proud of it. It was built entirely in, in our uh, cam campus in Mysore mm -hmm. by our engineering services team and uh, you know, the future is about autonomy, future is about automation technologies and AI technologies and um, every vehicle manufacturer is moving towards this. So uh, we have had this program to teach several thousand people autonomous driving technology and as a part of that to help our young engineers learn about this, we built our own. I'm really proud of it. And were you trying to prove something with this as well? No, we can, we, we can build next generation transformative technologies like anybody else in the world. That is the... Now, United States in particular, with Trump's policies of buy American, hire American, what challenges are you facing here and how are you trying to meet those challenges? Do you expect a slowdown in growth now and in the next few years? Now, I think that it is all about innovation. It is all about uh, the, the future uh, and how that is transforming businesses in every industry is all about innovation. And, and it, is, it changes not only what we work on, like these auto auto automation AI technologies or next generation experiences and so on, but also how we work, much more rapid, much more agile, um, these kinds of methodologies. Mm -hmm. So that is why we are hiring uh, 10,000 people in the US. We have, yeah, in the next two years, we have uh, already hired 600 mm -hmm. so far uh, since we announced the program. Um, so this is, uh, it is about ensuring that the best local talent uh, is present with the clients, complemented by the best global talent, and working in the new ways to bring these new futures come to life.